Hi, this is Rhea Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about psychic abilities. This way, today we're talking about the psychic ability, Claire Cognizant. And this is the ability of just kind of knowing things, but knowing things that you really shouldn't know or have studied. So sometimes people say, you know, do you, um, what should I do about this? And you'll just spout out an answer and you're kind of like, wow, I was right. Kind of that it's kind of a cross between like a just knowing and just kind of saying what your psychic instincts tell you to say. And it's one of those, it, a lot of times you don't really pre-think about it or, oh, I should tell this person this because this is going to help long term or this is going to get away from that person or whatever it is. Like you just like, blah, blah, blah. and so I deal with this one quite a lot. Uh, when my family asks me questions or clients ask me questions, it just like, blah, 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 blah. I know it sounds really weird, but it kind of comes through with, um, like some amazing feelings. Like, um, when you hear a question, you just have this feeling of knowing that, um, your, um, words are exactly what they require hearing that the thoughts that are running through your head that are kind of like next in line to say are exactly what they need to hear or if there's a visual if there's a picture or a short video clip that someone's showing you from the other side it is literally exactly what they have to hear um, and so it's kind of strange because it's hard to almost um, separate that from reality of oh I think I should tell this person ABC, but your instincts will tell them, no, you need to sell them CDE. And you're kind of like, what? Uh, or I, you know, they, um, uh, like if your girlfriend has like a horrible boyfriend and, and you're like, you should let him go. And this is a toxic relationship. So she asks you flat, flat out, like, Hey, should I leave him? And your first instinct is to, as a human, to go, yes, you should leave him. But instinctually, sometimes that claircognizant will come in and say, no, and this is why. And so it's kind of like, okay, I thought you were telling me that, you know, saying like you were going to tell me to leave him. And sometimes it's, it's not just like you thought about it. It's just this knowing. And I guess that's the hard part about explaining it to other people. Um, um, it can manifest almost um, sometimes feel like your own feelings like this is what they have to hear but I guarantee you this is a psychic gift um, and it allows you to kind of know special things as well um, it can be kind of like a lie detector test or when someone is trying to manipulate you or trying to manipulate someone else um, or if someone's trying to distort the truth um, this is that psychic ability that'll be like, no, this isn't right. And so you have to kind of learn to listen to that instinct. You have to kind of learn to listen to that um, knowledge coming out. Um, and um, sensations that are kind of linked to claircognizance are kind of like those um, illusions of truth. Like you'll literally, it feels different. Um, it feels like something's not right about what they said. And so sometimes you have to kind of um, really listen to um, your answer itself because sometimes um, the, you know what I'm saying, like the person may say, oh, last Tuesday I went to the grocery store and they actually meant to say last Wednesday, they just forgot. So it could be um, a lie of just like, I forgot, you know, kind of thing. Um, and so that just kind of helps a little bit more, but to kind of understand um, you can call someone on like that. Okay. Are you sure it was Tuesday? I thought you said it Wednesdays when you went and they might go, Hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It was Wednesday because the way Wednesday is when blah, blah, blah happens. And they're like, Oh yeah, that's exactly when it happened. Um, so calling yourself on it and calling someone else on it is really important to understand. This is the best way to understand this ability. It's the best way to deal with this. Um, um, Claire Cognizant also can help you kind of like shift your awareness of like higher frequencies of like when, like I said, when someone's telling you a lie or someone's telling you something like literally your instincts will tell you like those words are wrong or inaccurate and these are correct. And instead of kind of like seeing it with clairvoyance or, or hearing it with clairaudient, 
um, or feeling it with clairsensitive, it's like this instinct, like this almost inside your body, kind of like here it comes. Um, so I think it's kind of one of those things that there is some ways to really amplify this or kind of get a hold of it, but there's no way to kind of really do it without this. I know that sounds often weird because really the only way you can amplify claircognizant um, ability is through meditation and with the other abilities you have amping up. It doesn't really do anything without it. You can't take a class or learn how to meditate better or how to see or open your third eye or how to feel things or anything else. It kind of just daisy chains with the rest of them kind of like as the rest of them amplify this one well too. But the only way really truly to amplify your abilities that I know about is really to meditate. And um, meditation can go a long way in kind of getting that inner center for yourself and kind of like who um, requires hearing this information or who doesn't require hearing this information or um, what's coming through. What is the, the message of coming through with this? And I think that's one of the best things about claircognizant is um, the more you trust it, the more it comes through, the more energy comes through and the more you are able to trust yourself with it and really learn how to use it. Let's do some angel cards and get us some more insight into all things claircognizant. Um, this one is actually, I've got two bumping up right now that are just kind of falling out. Um, this one is um, Taurus and this is all about cultivating. And this is kind of really that cultivation of opening up to the energy. Like I said, cultivating it would be to meditate, to amp up your other abilities, um, asking your angels and guides to help with your abilities, and then um, kind of giving um, your angels and guides the verification that you heard it. So when you say it, they're hearing you going, oh, yep, that's exactly what she needed to hear. Um, the next one that literally jumped out is the 10th house, and this is the authority. And that's kind of where this claircognizant um, gift comes from is from creator's energy itself. All abilities do, but this one is more um, just this direct link in and you have the authority. Someone has asked you the question, so it's literally they've given you the authority to answer it. And I always answer truthfully, even if it's kind of hard information, I guarantee you I'm going to be giving that person exactly what their angels and guides um, told me to say, how they told me to say it, how they gave me that information. The next one, this is about trying, and this is a symbiotics a relationship. And this is really um, our ability to kind of connect to the other side. And it is, we kind of like threw a tether back to them. And when we get asked a question, they're answering it through us. So we're just kind of like the telephone and it's literally coming through. And that's the best way to describe claircognizant. It really is. Um, Solar Calm is all about clarify. Um, I think this is one of the best cards ever to get with this because it is all about clarifying um, your information that you're getting and the more clear that you're communicating with your angels and guides the more you're meditating the more clear information is going to come through and you're less likely to have um, literally um, misunderstandings or anything else and a lot of times people when um, Claire Cognizant um, jumps up for them kind of like okay this one's amping up now they'll be like oh my gosh I'm afraid I'm gonna say something wrong and I was like as long as you speak from your heart you can't it's part of it. Um, this one is um, the South Node, and this is all about the past. Um, usually in the past, um, I have doubted my ability in this area. Um, other people do too. At times it's like, oh, um, I'm wrong about this, or this isn't right, or whatever it is. But the more you trust it, the more it comes through. The more you trust, the more it literally starts coming through in so many different ways and manners. Um, this one is Midhaven and the Pinnacle. And the stronger kind of the pinnacle of it is the more you trust it the more it comes through and the more you trust it the more it comes through and so then you get better more detailed information um, more explanations more um, this is what needs to be done first and second and third and fourth and that really helps a lot to be able to explain it to someone else um, this one is the 11th house and this is all about community um, and we are a community and when someone asks um, a psychic person a, a question they are hoping to hear the truth. They are hoping to hear that from the other side. They are totally, totally hoping to hear that from the other side and hearing that message of 
uh, do this or take care of this or, you know, do this part first and then this will happen next. And that's kind of what they're really asking for. This is the North Node and this is all about the future. Um, like I said, the more you trust this, the more this comes through and the more you understand that this is your clear connection from the other side. It's a psychic gift, just like all the rest. And it's that clear knowing. And the more you share that clear knowing every time you go into the future, kind of like every time you go into the next day and the next day and the next day, that ability is going to continue to grow so much stronger. And it's going to give you guidance. It's going to give other people guidance. It's going to give people... Um, a peace and happiness to know the answer. They're going to just like, wow, that's exactly what I had to hear or exactly what I was hoping to hear from the other side because they wanted to hear the truth as well. Um, our last one is the descendant and this is all about the invitation. When someone asks you the question, um, it's kind of opening that invitation. Their invitation is, um, here's the question. Should I sell my car? And you're like, no, because blah, 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 blah. And you just go off and answer them. You're literally their question was your invitation to tell them what you heard, what you saw, what you felt. That's kind of your invitation in. And that's an interesting part as we um, kind of work through all of our abilities. But this one in particular is always a special one with me. And it's one that I've had on board for a long period of time. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.